Hi, and welcome to this Kasambi tutorial. In this session, we'll discuss daylight scene configuration. Daylight control can automatically adjust the level of artificial illumination based on variations in LUX levels measured by a Kasambi enabled sensor. As the LUX changes, the lighting can be configured to switch on or off, dim up or down, or be maintained at a constant level. Daylight control is configured as part of a basic scene, but once set up, it won't do anything unless a scene is first activated by something else. Manually, for example through pushing a button, by a trigger from a presence sensor, or via a timer. While editing a scene, select Daylight Control from the settings and choose the mode of operation. Which mode to choose will depend on your requirements. There are four modes available. Basic on-off mode will cause luminaires in an active scene to simply switch on and off based on two configurable LUX thresholds. Light switch on when the LUX falls below the switch on level and off when the LUX increases above the switch off level. This mode only operates when it's the highest active priority item in the control hierarchy. Open loop or external modes will adjust the luminaire output by comparing the sensor's output against the dimming response graph. The difference between the two modes is that open loop relies on LUX values sent from the sensor, whereas external mode is for sensors that send direct dimming levels, such as a DALI sensor. For these modes to work correctly, the sensor must be placed so that it isn't affected by light from luminaires in the network. For example, the sensor may be measuring the change in natural light outside a building. Closed loop mode is used to adjust the luminaires in the active scene to try and maintain a specified constant LUX level in an area. The sensor would be installed in the same area as the luminaires being controlled. This mode also only operates when it's the highest active priority item in the control hierarchy. After the mode of operation has been selected, you'll then need to select the controlling sensors and set other parameters based on the mode selected. Explanations are included under each option field in the app. Response graphs are configured in a similar way to a circadian profile response graph. See the How to Create Circadian Scenes tutorial for more information. Further information can be found from our support website and in our app user guide. You can also sign up for our free online training courses on our website. Thanks for watching.